Like, I've taken that before, like, in an audition. Um, I've yet to, like, actually play out, you know, an addict, but I've taken that in an audition yeah. that felt like the truth was told, yeah, um, you know, from that experience. And then the life scare, it's like, it's very similar if you go, someone doing something, and then, you know, your family tries to sit you down, your doctor calls you into the office. It's very paralleling experiences. Um, but I feel like if you don't have that, um, my go-to, number one go-to and big time saver, if I don't have the experience, is I pray to God and I was like, yo, connect me to this somehow, you know, um, allow me to experience and feel what this person feels in the day-to-day moments and the private moments. Um, and I can, and I, I'll do my best to get out of my way so the truth can be told, you know, um, like and like i experienced that on the deepest level um when we did judas noir where you know was was like where i'm like oh that really really works you know um because in the moment um like jesus pretty much like experiences i played jesus in the play he experiences like world suffering um because you know um opposite of lavelle lavelle played judas and i played just and it was it was it made it that much stronger. It was such a wonderful learning experience to get to work opposite him. Brilliant artist. Um, and <laughs> yeah, he's, doing, you know, he's kind of making his, his little thing here and there. Trying to find his way. You know, give, you know we'll give him time. <laughs> you know, it's, thankfully, he has Kiana teaching him. You know what I mean? Like, it's, exactly. It's a... <laughs> you know, it's going into the game, right? Who else will? If, we, if he doesn't. But um, working on that, um i remember um yeah like like reading in the script and it's like jesus has this huge like deep breakdown of like just feeling pain and whatnot because his friend judas and the way it's told in the, in the story of the play is that that's his best friend he's known him all his life and judas is sitting in purgatory and he's like yo and for one moment he comes back before jesus and he's talking to him and he's like yo like you like Judas ripped Jesus a new one. I was like, oh my God, when I was reading this play, I was like, Judas dude. ripped Jesus a new one? A new one, man, a new one. He was like, um, he was, because he was really challenging. And what's beautiful about theater, you, theater, and you know this, is that the audience gets to experience it. The audience gets to chime in and have their opinions and their oohs and ahs and their, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, and all of that. Especially when you have those 40 year old black aunties in the crowd, man, mm-hmm. they are not silent. But, um, I remember like the world, world suffering and I'm like, God, I, like I got on my knees before the show. And I'm like, I don't know what that is. I don't know if I'll ever know what that is, you know, that pain is, but the through line was heartbreak. I know what that is, you know? So I literally, before the show, I prayed to experience that on the deepest levels of whatever you want me to, to be able to tell the story. I literally got on my knees and, and prayed that between God. 